Now for the better part of yesterday and even up to now, Honorable David Munaze, who is also part of Jubilee leadership, has been trending on social media. This came out when news circulated on media that Munaze has finally resigned for the second time as the Jubilee vice chair. <laughs> it was simple. Someone went on to pick one of the old videos where Rafael Tujo, who is also the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, was addressing the media immediately after Murade had tendered his resignation to President Uhuru Kenyatta. And therefore, Uhuru declined to allow Murade to resign that time. That was on, 16th of, on 6th of January 2019. So someone went on to pick that clip and then popped it out. So it went on, it was circulating on social media. <laughs> And therefore, because this has been part of the breaking news, though broken, because it was unconfirmed news, it was, it was the news that, has not, that, 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 that is fake in that manner. So I, use this, I want us to use this opportunity to check into this issue. Why would someone circulate such information on social media? What did he want to achieve with that information? And who... Can it be this person circulating that information? But before we go deep into that analysis, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to this channel. I would request you to use this opportunity to subscribe so that any other time, once we come out with a video like this one, you will always get notified. And to everyone who has subscribed, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support to this channel. Actually, the more you subscribe here, the more you allow us to reach more people outside there. So consider to help us to grow this platform. Now, still having the heated debate on social media, on the resignation of David Murade, <laughs> like anyone could put it outside there, spreading unqualified and confirmed news. Jubilee Party went on now to release a statement just to confirm that Murade has not resigned. And I'm going to read that statement here. It's a little bit long. So you listen to this, then after this statement, we are going to analyze into it. It has come to our attention that there are reports circulating on social media alleging that Jubilee Party Vice Chair Honorable David Murade has resigned. We would like to clarify that such reports are false. Hmm. They goes on to say, Honorable David Murade remained our able Vice Chair and continues to carry his duty in that capacity working diligently to fulfill his mandate provided for in the party constitution. It continues, We urge members of the public to treat any document, report or communication purporting to, car to convey his resignation with the contempt it deserves. <clears throat> any official communication about changes in the Jubilee Party leadership will, de will be communicated through the official party organ organism as, as is norm and as is articulated in the Jubilee Party Constitution. We would also like to clarify that the party is unequivocally focused on fulfilling the pledges made to the people of Kenya and completing the journey of transformation, the journey of transformation. That's the end of the statement. Albert Memusi, Director of Communication Jubilee Party. So that is the statement from Jubilee Party confirming to Kenyans that David Murade has not resigned. <laughs> and therefore, let us ask ourselves, who circulated this information and what agenda did he want to achieve? In my own view, I feel that Jubilee Party has been a divided house. We have a team that is supporting Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Hustle Nation or Tanga Tanga, like President Uhuru called them. And then we have the other team that is standing with President Uhuru Kenyatta, Ile Wameita Embrace Team, Team BBI also. <laughs> and therefore, having this camp, the Ruto camp moved to UDA party. That is the party they are running now. And therefore, having bad blood with David Murade, the way Murade has been talking about the deputy president, I believe that Jubilee members, the Hustler team, the Tangatanga team, might have been the one that brought this information outside here. 
with a reason to achieve. And therefore, what could be the reasons that these people wanted to achieve here? Number one, today is a, is a, is a breakfast prayer. And this is being hosted at the parliament. Therefore, these people knew that the deputy president definitely is going to meet with President Uhuru Kenyatta. So they were confirmed that the deputy will be attending that prayer breakfast. For that reason, alleging that Mrazi has resigned, it was going to give a chance outside there for people to start believing that President Uhuru Kenyatta has fired Mrazi such that he can give a chance to Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the way they are going to meet today, to reconcile and again come to work together. Because remember, this morning even, the deputy president has already welcomed the president at the parliament. He received him. Uko. So, this is one of the reasons these people wanted to achieve. Mrather out, Ruto in. And number two, <laughs> after achieving this reason, outside there, the next issue is about the Kiamba by-election. Remember Jubilee failed a candidate. UDA did not, sorry. Yeah, remember Jubilee has failed a candidate. UDA party is also failing a candidate in that by-election. And therefore, alleging that Murathe has resigned from Jubilee party confirmed the fact that now Murathe is a defeated man. And Murathe being defeated in Jubilee party shows that Jubilee is a dying party for that reason the people of Kiamba should realign themselves with the UDA party that is strong on ground. That is a message these people want to send down there. That the leadership in Jubilee party is now a threat. For that reason, they should realign themselves with a party that has no division or threat in their leadership. Whether they are going to achieve this, time will tell. Though Jubilee party has come out with that statement. <laughs> We had Juja by-election also that happened. And immediately after that by-election, there had been information that President Uhuru Kenyatta chased away these Jubilee leaders from State House. He even gave them a lecture, even on phone. And it was a lecture that President Uhuru Kenyatta called, Rafael, uh, called Mraza just to give him a lecture on how they failed. So, sharing this information, it was set outside there to paint that President Uhuru Kenyatta has now got exhausted with Mrathe and for that reason he has chosen to fire Mrathe. So they wanted people to paint outside there that after Jubilee failing severally now the president is tired with Mrathe. For that reason he has chosen to fire Mrathe from Jubilee party. <laughs> and therefore if Mrathe is being fired in Jubilee party and the Mrathe had, had become a big rivalry with the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto and all the Tanga Tanga team there. Therefore, this shows that maybe after firing Mrathe, there's a chance that there can be healing in Jubilee between the Tanga Tanga team and uh, the Embrace team. Because remember, many people have believed outside there when Mrathe is speaking, then that is the voice of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And therefore, President Uhuru Kenyatta firing his voice a person who speaks in his behalf means that then there is change in the plan that President Uhuru Kenyatta had going to 2022. Then there is another issue when Murathe gave a statement of 2022. <laughs> Murathe came out clear that clear and told Kenya that the Deputy, the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto will not be president in 2022. That is going to use every every reason and every power within him to make sure that President uh, William Samuel Ruto is not becoming the next president. <laughs> so, with that reason, then the same brother who said that Ruto will not be president and he remained to be a leader in Jubilee Party, now being fired, the way these people have painted this issue outside here, means that there is going to be a change. Murathe also talked about the issue to do ile watu wa meita huku the Murathe, the Murathe Israela Mandela movement. Murathe has told Kenyan that 
there will be a Mandela movement in Kenya heading to 2022. And therefore, Mrather being in power means that he has been championing for Raila Molodinga to be the next president, served there for five years' term, then hand over power maybe to Gideon Moy or another person there within one Kenya alliance. And therefore, the way these people had brought this information to paint that President Uhuru Kenyatta has now fired Mrather or Mrather has resigned, meaning that the push that he was pu pushing towards, towards having Raila as a president is going to fail. For that reason, then Dr. William Samoy Ruto might go ahead to succeed because now Jubilee Party has already been divided and part of the people, cartels, who have been pushing for a Mandela movement are now not in power. That is the issue these people wanted to achieve here. At our Mendo social media, they have been saying that now Mrather has resigned, it confirms that now the Mandela movement is dead. This is what these people have been writing on social media outside there. <laughs> Whether this is being achieved or not, we will give it time. But again, you can see here, it has now been confirmed to be fake news. So Mrather is still there working. And therefore, if they believe that the Mandela movement is dead, then it, confirmed, it has now been confirmed that the Mandela movement is still outside there being pushed. Whether the Mandela movement will come to happen or not, time will tell. Now, it did not stop there. Even people like uh, Oscar Sud went on to say, despite Jubilee having wrangles, again, the Kanu party also is chasing some people from the leadership. So now they are also linking Jubilee to Kanu and the failure. Therefore, these leaders also was, were choreographing this issue to paint out Jubilee Party as a failing party. Therefore, giving UDA Party to arise. So that is the issue that I feel we could have talked about on this platform. Thank you for reaching this far with me. And therefore, be informed that the news that was trending there was just fake news. The reality of the matter is that Murade is still the vice chair of Jubilee Party. As long as Uhuru is still in power, maybe he will need Murade. Maybe Uhuru will attend Murade Nyumbani Akenda retirement. So thank you so much for reaching this far and see you in my next video. May good God bless you.